Hello, Novi. Uh, we are on episode six of Cultivers with my co-host, Caden. Hey. And uh, today we, we got something a little special for you. We got two guests. Why don't you guys introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Caleb White. I uh, go to Novi High School. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Judd Johnson, senior. I run track and field. Happy to be here. Nice. Nice. All right. So for our first topic, we have uh, Craven the Hunter. A lot of news coming out about that. Uh, let's let one of our guests take it away. I mean, I'll go first. I'm really excited. I mean, this is Sony's, what, third entrance into the, the Marvel franchise mm-hmm. since Spider-Man. I mean, we had Venom, Venom 2, Morbius, which, I mean, <laughs> not super intrigued by, but <laughs> we got Craven now, and they just recently released, like, that teaser trailer, and they showed it was going to be rated R. I mean, I'm, I'm excited, and I love the cast for it. Yeah. Caleb? I don't know, man. I feel like... I feel like I'm going to be the the person who's going to hate on everything here. (laughs) I don't know, man. Like, Venom, Venom was cool. Venom 2 was, I don't know, man. And Morbius, I fell asleep on, so I don't think I can really give you a good... I didn't even bother watching Morbius. I didn't either. I heard it was terrible. But, I mean, the rated R of, you know, Craven, it might make it a little bit better. No, I agree. You know, it might add some more to it but I mean I just want to see like where they take it because I'm I'm seeing like he's going to be like an animal rights activist yeah, or something, yeah, something like, that. like that and I don't know that's I mean it's different but it I just want to see how you know everything connects together and turns out yeah yeah uh, <clears throat> I, I'm interested kind of because you know Sony's last comic book movies besides technically No Way Home were in my eyes, just misses. Like, obviously, Morbius did not do good. I didn't really like Venom 2 for a multitude of reasons. I, I did like Venom 1. That one was actually enjoyable. Venom 1 was yeah. was all right. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I, I didn't mind seeing, like, Riot. I, I've never seen Riot before as, like, a symbiote. So I'm sure they've all been know. in animations. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, Venom 2 definitely was a hard miss for mm-hmm. me. Morbius even more so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the casting, especially for those movies... It, it was set up well. Yeah. I think just the execution was done extremely poorly. But, I mean, we have Aaron Taylor Johnson coming off a bullet train. Yeah. We got Russell Crowe. Is he big? Is it Russell yeah. Crowe's yeah. in Russell it? Russell Crowe's going to be playing Craven's father. I mm. did not know that. That's yeah. Good. And then um, the woman from, she played a character in Hamilton. She's going to be playing mm. Calypso. Oh. So. Okay. I mean, I'm excited. The casting looks great. Teaser looked interesting. They showed a lot of the main cast. I don't know. I'm generally just excited. I'm definitely gonna see it in theaters. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy you're excited. I I, I just I don't know. I'm Sony hasn't been too crazy right now, but I'm I always hold out like hope for these type of things because I mean, like we all know they're changing some things because you know Craven the Hunter is a animal hunter, but he's an animal rights activist supposedly some like something like that in the, in this. I don't know if like a event is gonna happen that changes that, um, but you know I we'll kind of see how that goes they definitely yeah. stayed true to the whole russian thing of him like yeah going to the jungle to be that best hunter so i don't know where that plays but i mean still and they actually showed the spider-man from far from home in oh. the trailer where he had the black suit on oh really mm-hmm. the spy suit yeah that yeah. was in the trailer so oh crap is it on youtube mm-hmm. oh okay i gotta watch that i, didn't I think watch that that's why like i'm curious to see where everything goes because it's like they keep making all these movies but it seems like they're trying to make it solo movies but also not at the same time because they keep putting spider-man teasers in all of the the trailers and the movies and everything so i'm just wondering like what really is the end goal with all these like solo movies yeah i don't know either you know it's just kind of everywhere you know? yeah yeah i am kind of on the same boat as like you guys uh don't get me wrong i am like a little excited for it i haven't heard much until literally yesterday when i was reading up on it uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson been following him since his earlier days from that one movie I I, I can't name. Uh, very good movie though. I liked it a lot. You know, it was a fun, you know, comical superhero movie, kind of like, like a rip on superheroes, which I did like. Uh, other than that, I've only seen him in Bullet Train. Bullet Train, I loved him in. He was mm-hmm. great in that. And uh, I can't I can't wait to see him as Craven. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, Sony recently, it, just the whole MCU like. It's just kind of like falling apart a little bit. Yeah. Not gonna lie. 
Yeah, I, I mean, agree. He's already been in Marvel once with Quicksilver. Oh, yeah, yeah that's so, right. So how are they going to I forget that's that. him. Yeah, yeah I do, too. Back. Yeah. I mean, he got kicked out pretty quick. Yeah, he did. Uh, he literally died within the first movie he was introduced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, Shout I don't know, because if they're... It's kind of weird. I, I don't know. When that, when that type of situation happens, it's kind of weird, because, like, you're thinking, you know, what if you know wanda and spider-man are like teaming up or doing something you know even though it's a movie universe they could team up quote unquote yeah and she'll look at craven and be like oh you look so much like pho i don't know that type of thing is just kind of weird to me you know but uh well yeah i think we also got another quicksilver in the wanda vision show yeah it was uh yeah, it was a guy uh, from x-men i'm drawing a blank on his name but I he's also from name. like american horror story mm -hmm. Uh, Evan Peters or Peter Evan Ev Peters, yeah, or Peter yeah. Evans, like one of the two. I know he has like uh, two first names, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I like him as Quicksilver. I'm Quicksilver. not gonna lie, but yeah, I can't really see what they're gonna do with that, or if, they might not even acknowledge it at all. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, maybe not. I yeah. think it's, it's gonna be the same as what DC's doing with Jason Momoa, where me and Kill were just talking, where they recasted him from Aquaman to Lobo. Yeah, like, yeah. It's definitely gonna be that same thing where they just kind of ignore the fact that he definitely played two roles. Yeah. Certain of it. I think for things like Secret Wars, they kind of have to. Yeah, they oh, do. Because sure. like, you got Chris Evans who played, you know, the Human Torch, and then also played oh, Captain America, yeah. obviously. So it's like. They kind of have to address it because that's going to be kind of weird. You got this, like, person on screen that could be two <laughs> different people. So yeah. it's like, I don't know. I don't I don't, I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know either. It, that's always very messy, you know. I mean, like, obviously it's going to have to be done at some point, but it just seems so messy. Like, how are they really going to figure that out? I mean, you know? knowing MCU, like, Ryan Reynolds, they already played on the fact that he was Wade Wilson once. Yeah. And... Uh, Wolverine so I mean they could do a similar thing where they joked about that mm -hmm. but I mean otherwise than that yeah Craven for sure I mean they're introducing him Calypso and I'm hoping the teaser at the end actually involves MCU not just Sony stuff yeah 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 they also have that uh, that Madam Web movie coming out too or it's like in post production oh, yeah. too I forgot about uh, that I, I actually don't know who's even acting in it it's um who is that? I know lady? Sydney Sweeney's in it. I yeah, I heard she was in it. Is I'm, she playing a younger version of her? No, she's, she's playing, supposed uh, to be like. No, she's like another character. Yeah, I she's think. another yeah. character. I don't know who plays like Madame Web though. Like I I'm, I draw I drew a blank. Uh, who's playing? I forgot who it is. I I um oh Dakota Johnson. Okay. Dakota Johnson. I don't really know what she's from? in. Yeah. I don't know. I think. That, I mean, the name does sound familiar. Yeah, she's definitely like. I think she's an A-lister. Is she? I think so. Because I hear that name a lot. Yeah, I feel like I have heard that a lot. Well, she was in... Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, you, <laughs> yeah, you well. want to talk about, oh. like, Don't go Sony stuff. Section. That's, like... That's, like, the bottom of the... <laughs> the bottom of the bottom. Like, what? Madam what? Like, Craver, Craven, like... That's cool, but, like... No, they are, like, booting up, like, you know, random characters yeah. people have never heard of. Yeah, they like, are. Like, uh, they're doing that one with the guy who... Oh, like, the wrestler guy? Yeah, it was like, kind of yeah. like a rip-off thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, dude, well, like, why don't you give us, you know, something good, something better. I'd rather especially see a Scorpion Morbius. movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, easily. Yeah. Especially with Michael Mann, though, because, you know, mm -hmm. we, we got that tease, but we never really got to see anything with that. But, uh... Oh, man, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, no, with Morbius, you know, I never bothered watching that. I didn't even know who Morbius was until then. He got a lot of hype. <laughs> and then I found out Jared Leto was cast as me. I was like, oh. I just don't like Jared Leto. I just generally don't think he's a good he actor. He's good in Fight Club. Mm. Yeah, because he got beat up like three yeah. times. That's one. <laughs> he did better as Joker the second time. From oh, yeah, and Zach Schneider's, yeah. 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 See, Good American don't, Psycho, too. I don't think his Joker was that bad, dude. In yeah. Suicide Squad? It's just, it's, that's it's not just Joker, different, bro. He's, he's, he's just like, he's, he's just, just a, a clown, gangster, bro. bro. Yeah. He's just, just a gangster. See, that's that, all he was. It's just different. Like, and different, different isn't bad if it's done right. Yeah. It was, I mean, Heath Ledger goofy, was getting ripped on. I'm definitely yeah. more of a yeah. Heath Ledger oh, of course. type of Joker. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I think everyone I like. My Joker will always be Mark Hamill. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Mine's probably Heath Ledger Mine's too. Heath Ledger. Yeah, but uh, I also Animated? like the Joker from the Batman. Stuff too. with Mark Hamill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I definitely would go with Mark Hamill for that. But I mean, it's kind of just like our thoughts on like Craven the Hunter. Uh, actually, a little subtopic is the Hack of the Hardness show. Mm -hmm. They're apparently it's a musical. 
You know what I'm talking about? It's oh yeah, yeah. The chick from One Division. Yeah, I. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care for that show at all. Either. I'm surprised she they're giving her her show. own show. Yeah. yeah, they're just giving a lot of people their own show that's not really necessary. Yeah, yeah. There was know? that big Marvel streak on that Disney streaming service where they just released several throughout the year. Yeah, yeah. Like that's too. that's more of the quali- the quantity over quality issue that they were kind of doing. And like, I don't man, I, the way Agatha Harkness, her character kind of is like, she. In the comics, she's like a very serious person. She was serious in the um, in the show, but like not really at the same time. Yeah. It was kind of comical, and like it makes sense that they're making it a musical, but that's just so dumb. Yeah. I mean, well, the actor who plays her, she's she's also like in a lot of comedy roles. I that's true. Yeah, so I think the idea is they keep getting these like high tier like actors to play these like characters that are meant to like not be in many more things so they just give them their own show or they just give them whatever just to have them around it's true. i think that's the mm-hmm. idea and they just want people to like be themselves but also be another character so that's why they don't really like stick true to the original character yeah they just want the actor to play him however yeah i don't know i mean kevin feige always likes to do his things like different you know which it's okay. I actually like that a lot, but I also like when they, depending on the character, when they stay true to the character, like Agatha Hardness in the comics, she's 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 crazy. Like she's cold and she's a cold-hearted person. She actually was. Wanda was actually her apprentice for a bit. I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And you know they didn't take that route, obviously, which is okay. But just like a musical, just does not. I don't. They don't sit right with me. You know? I mean, Joker. Joker's yeah, gonna be a musical. I don't know but how will it be I feel good? about that. Though. Yeah, I don't either. I still think it's gonna be good though, because uh, if you're looking at you know, teaser images and stuff, uh, we also have Harvey Dent is gonna be in it. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think he's gonna become Two Face in that uh, movie. Maybe, well, maybe Joker has something to do with it. Maybe he makes him into Two Face. Yeah. Uh, kind of like how we had, you know, the Dark Knight situation. Mm-hmm. I don't know who's playing him. Uh, I do obviously have a couple of fan casts. I think John Hamm would be great for that. But who is cast as Harvey Dent? Do we know? No, that's oh, what I'm saying. No, I, I think sure. John Hamm, the guy from uh, Mad Men, I think he yeah. would be great mm-hmm. as Harvey Dent. Because Bruce Wayne is young. In yeah. The yeah, he's like, oh, he's yeah. Oh, yeah. Ben should be the, he should be the same age. You think so? Uh, definitely. Well, it was kind of, in the second one, I think it's like a 20-year jump, something. Really? Like yeah. 20 years is a lot. Yeah, I think I think it's a big, big jump. I'm not sure. That's too Wouldn't big. Wouldn't a Joker be like... like he be in his like... 60. How old would be like, like, like 50, because I think he was like 30 in the first one. Really? That would definitely make sense. That would make sense? Yeah. That Okay, yeah, I guess that would. I mean, like, I mean, he would be older. Joker's always been older, but I don't... I don't think he's been that old, right? Did you guys like that movie? I like the Joker. I thought really? it was pretty good in the box it, office. It definitely did. So much so that they yeah, made a the, second one. Yeah, it says uh, in the sequel, Joker movie does have a massive time jump. Bruce would be around 20 years old and it would skip mm. 10 years of Arthur's okay. life. So being a Joker franchise, uh, it's so Bruce is probably not going to be Batman yet. He might be like in the stage of his life where he's traveling around the world, yeah. learning mm-hmm. different martial arts, yeah. learning yeah, his yeah. skills. So Bruce Wayne might not even be in Gotham at, at that point. Mm-hmm. They might name drop though. Probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. Probably yeah. Name like, drop. You know, oh, Bruce oh, Wayne man. hasn't been seen like in eight years. What happened to him? Or yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah something and like plus, that. Plus, Joker would hate the Wayne family for everything they stand for. I mean, he was in that terrible oh, yeah. situation. Yeah. Like his whole thing is he hated all the wealthy in Gotham. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why I'm curious as to what the movie's even going to be about because it's kind of like everything finished at the end of the first one. Yeah. It's like he got yeah. to jail and everything and, you know, he had his, you know, but, I mean, I don't I, I don't know what else they can do with the character besides, yeah. you know, give him Harley Quinn and everything and have that relationship. But I love that ending scene where he walked out and left that cliffhanger of whether any of it actually happened. Yeah, yeah. I like my life to be multiple forward. choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Pe- kind of my people problem. People were though. saying that, you know, Harley Quinn in the movie might not even be real. Yeah. Because yeah, they were saying, that. like, Ooh. people weren't interacting with her or whatever. Oh. And she was, like, around doing stuff. But I don't know. I just... 
Because like we already saw that in the first one. You know, he thought he had a love interest with that one chick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when he talks to her, actually, she's like, yo, who are you? Like, what are yeah. you doing in my apartment? Yeah, it was kind of like trippy. Yeah. You know, which is like the thing is, I think they should have kept it as like that standalone movie. Because, okay, so, like, I mean, obviously thinking of it in, like, the CEO standpoint, it made a lot of money. Let's not, or let's, why not try it again, you know? But I personally think that if this goes wrong, it will go wrong terribly. <laughs> it's going to yeah. go right. I almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I, got, I got a lot of trust in Todd Phillips. I do. He's a great director with, uh, between The Joker, which he grabbed a lot of inspiration from Taxi Driver, Martin Scorsese, you know, like. Uh, one of his first movies that put him on the map. He also made the Hangover movies, and mm. he made three Hangover movies, and all those did well because you no, know, those were funny, right. great cast, and it was always something new each time. Mm-hmm. So That's fair. yeah, I I got faith he can do something. Something That's different. fair. The images are nice. I've seen I've seen some images. Uh, Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. At first, I was very iffy about her, but images. She looks good. The yeah. poster looks great. Yeah, the poster looks really good. I've been, but she 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 looks good. She pulls it off for like. Cause like it's it's very it's very subtle like their kind of like thing how they're doing it. it's very subtle and she gives off that subtlety so I'm like okay I'm very, I'm open to this the same messy makeup mm-hmm. look very human mm-hmm. yeah yeah so I'm open to it yeah. so know. uh anything else any final thoughts no I'm good I think my final thoughts for the Joker would definitely be the fact I like the first movie had a lot to say on mental health awareness I'm sure they're gonna keep that through the second movie probably. Most definitely. Probably. I, I, I think so, too. But, uh, Caleb, any final thoughts? Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, that's our first topic and our subtopic uh, for number one. Number two, we have a newly recently um, released game called Dead Island 2. Um, I've been actually been hearing good things all around, Yeah. to be completely honest mm-hmm. with you. And uh, let's start. We'll start off with Caleb. Actually, you, you want to say anything about the game? Yeah, I I watched the the first few minutes of like how the game is gonna go when it comes out eventually, and I mean it looks pretty good. But I mean I I haven't played any of the other games or any of the other games made by like the same people, but it looks good. Like I might actually buy it. Yeah. And I'm not really the type to you know, buy story games and just sit down and play them. Well, yeah. that's the thing. It's not really a story game. It's a, it was a game made more from uh, the gameplay. Hmm. Oh, and really? the gameplay yeah. looks it, it looks immaculate. It, looks it actually fun. looks pretty insane. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Jet, you have the game. What do you think of it? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of experience with Dead Island. I mean, I've played the first one several times <laughs> just over and over. And so, like, the, the gameplay aspect, I think one of my favorite parts is they added a new system, which I won't say on here, all right? But if you look it up, you'll definitely realize what it is. And that new system is great. Like, they yeah. did an extremely good job. I, I, th- I think I know exactly what Visually, you're about. it's spectacular. I haven't seen anything like it in any other game yet. And, I, I mean, I'm glad that they built on that. It definitely adds some uniqueness to the game. And the fact that there's more content coming with guaranteed at least two expansions paid... I mean, I'm excited to play more. I'm halfway through it, and I'm still enjoying it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I've seen gameplay. Uh, I've been here. I've been looking at reviews. The gameplay does look nice. I I will say some of the move. Like we talked about it yesterday, Jet. Um, uh, yesterday I thought the movement kind of looked a bit clunky, a little bit. It's not as good as Dying Lights. Yeah. By any means, but. Oh, I wouldn't think so. Dying yeah. Light's parkour is pretty nice. Yeah. Movement's good. In Dying Light, that's mainly what they focused on. Yeah. The parkour skills, especially with the second one. Uh, the park car was really fun. The second one, but mm-hmm. other than that, very smooth. Play, it was. Do you yeah. think the the movement will be like that through the entire game? Because isn't he supposed to be like injured in the beginning or whatever? In, well, in the beginning, all their games, your main character gets bit. Yeah, yeah. literally the beginning yeah. of the game, you have like a piece of metal and you have to rip it out and you have to heal. And you obviously get bit. You find out you're immune. That basic thing. Yeah. So like. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the skill trees, like in Dying Light, it was all movement-based, like what movement you wanted. Yeah. In this game, the skill trees, they're like cards, and you pick what bonuses you want for certain actions. It's it's innovative. I like it. It's a little basic, but, I mean, it's enjoyable. There's six playable characters to choose from. All of them are unique and different Different voice lines. Yeah. Isn't uh, Sam B's in there, right? Sam B yeah. came back. That's yeah. yeah. the second dude, right? time. That's horrible luck to go through another <laughs> zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> you did it on... I, I I won't I won't spoil I won't spoil but Little Pump is a playable character. Oh, is he actually? <laughs> Little Pump is a playable character and his voice lines are so funny. 
So is it funny. actually Lil Pump? It's actually Lil Pump. Wow, they took that's his, crazy. They put him in the game, like his his character model and his voice lines, and he he actually that's did a decent so job. So random. I know that is really random. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Yeah. Mm. That yeah, that's funny, but ran- that scene that would be the type of game to do that because I heard like you know, the they make a lot of jokes. They cl- like it's a you clown around, and they, yeah. I know you can make lots of cool weapon mm-hmm. you know that's what i find very interesting you can put the two things together and it can become something really really cool yep that's definitely where most of the gameplay comes in is the crafting mm-hmm. which i know isn't for everybody but if you're into the idea i mean because you collect those resources naturally if you're definitely into the idea of just making cool weapons and experimenting then yeah i definitely recommend that island too i think like wolverine claws and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can put like electricity on them like fire all types of cool yeah stuff. Yeah, the people that made that game, they they make some good stuff, you know. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. You know, so it makes sense that there's been a lot of good things being said about it. The reviews are have all been good, and the only times yeah. that they were bad are the people that try to compare it to Dying Light, and they're yeah. just two completely different concepts of games. You, like, you can't compare games. them, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. no, you can't. It's like a personal preference. Mm-hmm. Um, me, personally, I did, like, the first Dying Light better than the first Dead Island. For sure. But I like Dead Island 1 better than Dying Light 2, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> I think Dead Island 2 is going to probably beat all of them. I'm not going to yeah, you know. The only problem so far I have with Dead Island 2 is there's no cars in the game, right? No cars. There were cars in Dead Island One. Yeah, and yeah. Mm, mm, nope. So right. how do how do you, how do you travel around LA with no cars? So in Dead Island One, each area was like a playable zone, and then yeah. you have to fast travel to the next one. So it wasn't open world, but they, there was like a string, so it was guided. It's the same way. So you oh, go okay. in between okay. the zones. There's a map for each zone. They're relatively like medium sized. So and there's side quests and miscellaneous quests everywhere. And I mean, you know, if you're into doing everything. It's, definitely definitely playable yeah, yeah. that would be the type of game yeah but yeah. i mean open world wise i wouldn't say it's open world it's definitely yeah. guided to like a huge extent like yeah. linear yeah it, i mean uh, that's how all their all tech land games are even with uh not even just like dead island the dying light games too mm-hmm. you're you're trapped in an enclosed space until you moved on to the next one and then you had both of them available for you yeah take with dying light too and uh I mean, I, I kind of like that concept. I'm not gonna lie. It works. Yeah, it works. Yes. It works. I, I think that's good. I think there's, I think there's definitely a lot of hope for this game to be pretty good. Not, I don't. Okay, just based off looks, I wouldn't say it's game of the year worthy. No. No. no? Okay. No. Yeah. It's, it's a fun. It's a fun playable game. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, think so. if you're going into it, I mean, it's expensive. Yeah. It's a sixty dollar AAA game. If you're going into it expecting just a fun experience, nothing, you know. Nothing too like yeah. amazing. Then yeah, it's yeah. gonna be fun. You know, you can play with. I think you have up to three friends. Mm-hmm. You can yeah. play that with your friends yeah. late at night gaming. You're just oh, going around killing time. zombies. No, yep. dying laughing and that's and the best time. Yeah, that's, that is yeah, the best one time. of the best times of your life. Yeah, just chilling with your boys, mm-hmm. playing late at night, playing some games. I love that so much. It's one of the best things in the world. I know it's so funny. I mean, I'm playing co-op with two other guys. You know, music playing, just playing at night. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fun. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. Story's not spectacular, but I mean, you're not playing it for the story. Yeah, you're playing yeah. it for the gameplay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, uh, any final thoughts to get out before we move on to the uh, subtopic? Um, I'm guys, you're going to make me spend another $60 on a game. <laughs> hey, to be fair, <laughs> I it's was, worth it. Yeah, I was yeah. surprised. I've had, like, almost no glitches. No, yeah. like, I've had two glitches not game breaking, and like most games nowadays, they come out and they're mm-hmm. half playable, especially games yeah. that come off on uh, Epic. Yeah, and then you gotta wait another couple of months for like the big update to hit, and then it's finally playable. But by then, you've already moved on. Yeah, I'm yeah, surprised. It, yeah. at least in a really good state. Yeah, because yeah, I heard, because well, not her, I, well, actually, so because so games that come out on Epic first, like Saints Row, there were a lot of bugs with that, so I've heard I didn't really deal with that yeah. many of them. But I've heard that co-op in specific, it kind of like messes up. But you know, yeah, it's a good, it's a good release. Mm-hmm. You know, I, it's impressive. A little, little upset I couldn't play it Thank on Steam, you. but I mean, I Epic see you. I, know, I was just gonna <laughs> say, um, but yeah, it's it's very impressive. Um, so a little subtopic too. I didn't, I don't mean, I didn't mean to uh, no, like yeah. just, but so um, subtopic too. We got Star Wars. Um, the new game. Oh yeah, Friday. yeah, yeah, yeah! Comes out this week, right? Comes out on Friday. Um, I'm I'm so geeked. I know I know you said I'm actually pretty sure uh, both you, Caleb and Jess, said you couldn't really get into it, right? I okay. I, I get you want to start. You want, all right. So yeah. I played the first one all the way through. Mm-hmm. It took it took like six months though. <laughs> I loved Force Unleashed. I didn't oh, feel that man. in Fallen. I didn't. I didn't well, feel it's two it. Two different games. It, you know? it is, and I I mean. 
it, I should have gone into it with that mindset. I played it. I got off like the first area to the second area. I was like, I gotta take a break. But I I love it. I do. I mean, I love the concept. They're doing more of a Ghost of Tsushima thing with the yeah, different lightsabers, with the, with the different stances. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm totally into it. I'm gonna play it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm play it. Young. Sorry, well, sorry, my fault. So, anyway, okay, before I say anything, I'm definitely willing to play it because I have a lot of things that that I was worried wasn't gonna be changed. <laughs> <laughs> like the first, the first like half an hour of the game is so good like sliding around and jumping on the like train and mm-hmm. oh, fighting yeah. my second sister and everything is so fun it was fun but yeah. once you actually get into it it's it's very tedious and it's kind so. of boring at times yeah because you're like traveling around these like dark caves just mm-hmm. solving puzzles no fast travel and you gotta go back and forth and solve all of the puzzles and i don't know it was it was just a bit boring to do, so I, I I definitely didn't finish it. Yeah, I'm same thing with you. I have not finished yeah. it yet. Yeah, I got through like the cave system, and I was like, oh my god, this is sweet, and yeah. I've not been back. Mm-hmm. If you're not into killing like the monsters and stuff, yeah, if, if you're more of like the troops, yeah, I yeah, no, that's that. fair. Yeah. I I don't know. I mean, like I'm always I'm always into like combat with like someone that's like human that's like you because like it's just you're both trading blows and all that i yeah. I, I like that a lot but i didn't mind i didn't mind fighting the monsters i think they didn't do too bad with it but they are improving a lot a lot of things from the first game that yeah. people have an issue with i might just play the second one and like watch like a playthrough of the first one yeah. that's fair yeah. i'll give you that because you you do want to know some things about the first one that they're 100 percent going to talk about in the second one so i've yeah. heard they make references they talk about all these things that happen so like you're definitely going to want to like know some things about it they the ui looks really good compared to the first one it looks Mm -hmm. very very good i i like it a lot the the stance is very interesting to me i know there's the blaster stance where you have a saber and a blaster yeah that's very that's that's what i kind of didn't like was you have to play through like the entire game to get like ranged abilities Mm -hmm. like the lightsaber throwing everything oh yeah it was like one of the last things you can get. And yeah, that was that's true. Kind of annoying. I think that there's a lot of hope because like the customizations for both yeah. the character, the saber hilt. I think that's very, very good. Like so in depth. You can buy hairstyles. You know, some styles for your beard. You can have get a, like a clean cut, or like you can push. You can change the like beard style. Yeah. The clothes, the all the hilt. I button. will not play games if there's not good customization. Man, like if I, I have to play as <laughs> some like default character, I'm like, man, come on, look at God of War. And the, really? like, yeah. the little That's ponchos weird. and the the colors oh, for the, 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 the clothes and whatever. Yeah. I, it was not good. You'd be I didn't on like hard the mode, you get the imperial outfit. Yeah, if you play New Game Plus, you but get you the have to play through the game <laughs> and then start the game over again so i already like, played it twice point? bro i already played it twice and I, when i first when it first came out i remember i had a i had a cold sore um so i stayed home because we didn't know what was up with it and i got lucky because that's when star wars came out and i finished it with i finished it th- within those two days bro i was geeked I, I i liked it a lot you know i played it two times you know y'all know i love my star wars and it's coming out on friday i'm getting ea play for 15 dollars, just like it's game pass basically and you get you can get Fallen Order on re- or uh, Jedi Survivor on, on release. I'm so geeked, man. There's going to be more lightsaber on lightsaber combat. Yep. I like Souls-like games, so I'm very interested in that. I'm, I'm so geeked, man. Oh, now I got to play the first one, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the thing. I'm like, so regretting not playing the first one right now. <laughs> it definitely shows progression. Like, the first yeah, game, he's running away from, mm. from you know, yeah. Imperial from Forces. Past too. And, I mean, for me, like, I know my biggest issue is, one, a lot of games I know struggle with fighting monsters and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's where it was. Yeah. He wasn't trying to fight people. And I mean, two, the cast for me was not hitting. Like really? all of his That's like, sidekicks and stuff, yeah. his allies, I was not hitting. I like the Night Sister though. She was cool. She was cool. They had a good chemistry. They had the a good villain chemistry. in that game actually wasn't bad. Like, I like the, I like I the Inquisitors. She was cool. Yeah, I thought she, she was, was pretty cool. cool. And the reveal like did catch me off a little you know, a little off base, but I mean, it was still good. I still yeah, liked it. You know, I, I mean, I know what happens. Yeah. Do you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Darth Vader. Yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. That yeah. was yeah. really cool. Yeah. Inter- it was, was really good entrance. Yeah, a yeah. really good entrance. Of and it. they did it well. They did. Like, yeah. spoiler, like, 
obviously he doesn't win. Yeah, right? and yeah, I mean yeah, like yeah. It he's Darth sense. Vader. He's yeah, one of, he's, no, it was he at was that him. time he was <laughs> like the most feared Sith. Yeah, so you know. So he's got to be coming back, right? I doubt it. I hope not. No, really? Yeah, this game like, like he, not even not even no, for a I second. Like it. mentioned, kind of mentioned. I I could see like it could be like one of those things. You know, like in Arkham was uh and like the Arkham games when you're free roaming, like you know the goons are like just yeah, having conversation. Yeah. It could be like the troopers mentioning him. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'll, I'm fine. With. If he shows up again, though, I don't want that. What movie does this take place during? This actually takes place uh, more towards the Obi Wan Kenobi show. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah really? around that time. Imagine we get to see like you know like uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and it's actually voiced by. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like if they can, because this is taking part during Obi Wan Kenobi. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. So he can show up, you know, because I really, I really want to see him in a game again, man. I need to. I need to. Last time I saw him in the game was Battlefront. Yeah. True. I know. I just read something on Battlefront uh, Three. How they're like the one of the developers said that they were ninety nine percent done uh, with don't the game, uh. and they pulled the plug. Uh. Like, how can oh, you man. do that, man? The Battlefront games are so good. So I like, know. Oh. I still sometimes just re-download it just to play. I know. Yeah. It's oh, the so pain. fun. I can't deal with that pain. That uh, hurts me yeah. so bad. Battlefront Two is so good. I mean, I release was terrible. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, I it was. Completely mm. understand. But once they fixed that, but everybody had left. Who was your main? And <laughs> here, and here's where villains. Oh. Maul. That's valid. Maul. I ran Maul. Man, definitely Kylo Ren for me. Really? I think for me it was Vader and Kylo, and then for heroes, I think it was uh I think it was uh, Anakin and Obi Wan. Yoda. Okay, Yoda. good. No one was no good. one's choosing people with guns. Yeah. No. Actually no. my guy no. my guy ran Han Solo and he was good. No, he was good. He ran Han Solo. Like, dude, if you're gonna use guns, bro, though. please go play Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. Like it just makes me mad like when you're like playing Heroes with Villains. And you know, you see like all the decisions. You got, like, <laughs> Kylo, Darth Maul, and then Vader, and then you got Boba. Boba. Fett. I, I don't I'm like his jetpack flying around, yeah. shooting his missiles, dude. And you know, like he'll blast you, shoot his missiles, mm -hmm. and then he'll fly away and do this. Yeah, that's all know. Boba's did. But if you if you were Han and you played a good Han, I, so occasionally I'll play uh, Phasma, the metal one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was Bro, good. Put down that drone. Yeah, yeah in the little probably spot. good, but that's got to be boring. If you're right? throwing, if no. you're running Phasma, throwing supernova grenades at me. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just I will saying. find where you live. Yeah. That that <laughs> drone, that drone that like shocks you and like <laughs> stuns you, you could you could milk that so easily. Are you playing uh, that BBA <clears throat> droid? Oh, yeah. the droids! That was yeah. so annoying. Yeah. That was so. You think like, you be ankle. fighting like another Sith or something? And then the droid just run like, around. Like, you get said, you're like, bro, get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> you just want to real quick. Force push. Yeah. No. Oh my god! Oh, the force! I the force push. <clears throat> I think it was really interesting. I mean. On the villain side, I was a Vader and Count Dooku guy. Yeah, and then Dooku, heroes, really I was Dooku Luke was and Anakin. Too, yeah. yeah, Dooku, if you had the right star cards, he was good yeah. with the duelist. I what? hated star cards. Really? You didn't like that system? Um, I liked it. I liked it, yeah. Oh, it's called, I remember uh, my favorite thing to do is like if I was about to get like if I was getting team push, I just oh choke him real quick. And yeah, yeah. Throw you, my you thing can throw and it. Then activate my like my rage, my yeah. focus, and I go to town, dude. Yeah, and, like no, I'd this, always this rage win, was bro. Good. It was great. His rage was I good. I like but. the loadout system with the star cards, but leveling <laughs> up, leveling that was up annoying. Up hurt me. Mm -hmm. Hurt me. That was annoying. And I know that what they did was at first you had to unlock all the customizations, and then they at one point yeah, they okay. gave us all the customizations. I did put it. I'm so mad. I put in so much work to get the farm boy outfit for Luke. <laughs> I put in so much work, bro. And I was so geeked when I got it. Like when he's wearing like the fourth movie outfit, blue lightsaber and everything. Yeah. I loved it so much because, you know, I was him. I ran that, bro. <laughs> I ran that. I was him. Playing on Xbox back, too. Luke goes hard. Yeah. Uh, another great thing to do. Uh, I always loved playing this mode. It was uh, it was like the battlefield mode, you know, where you had to take mm -hmm. over the objectives. Galactic yeah. Assault? I think so. I'm not, I'm not so. sure. Yeah. But uh, how everyone else is like a droid. They're just like another like, like foot soldier. <laughs> yeah. And then you'd walk into a dark alley and you're a Sith. Oh, and all like yeah. the human soldiers would look at you and no one would shoot. And then you're... Because you, you know it's Ravs, bro. You know it's Ravs. They're like... Oh, and they'd be throwing your grenades and you're just blocking everything, <laughs> yeah, no, bro. Exactly, force choking bro. people, dude. It was so Oh, fun. my God. That was a fun And then you feel invincible, dude. And you get like 20 kills right there. Mm -hmm. And then you mm -hmm. run into another Sith or like another hero or Sith. And you're like... Yeah, they they did. They also did good with the um, fighter combat, the uh, yeah. like star fighters and all that. Yeah, they gotta they add some squadrons. of that. Like, yeah, squadrons. They gotta add some of those mechanics into 
into like the next Star Wars game, bro. Yeah, I know. Like those were such cool mechanics. Like the big like jump or whatever. Yeah, it was so satisfying to yeah, do. I'm about to re download that game too, man. I know, man. Yeah. Ubisoft is making the open world. So yeah, cool. they are. Really? Oh. Yeah, you can like choose whether you want to be like a bounty hunter, Sith. I want. Yeah. I hope you can choose Mandalorian. I'm open to that. Yeah, I would like to be a Mandalorian. Really, you think you go with no lightsaber, no force? Yeah, no. There's no. If there's way. like, I if there's know. like lightsaber. my second playthrough, yeah. If they do like slots. I don't, I don't yeah. Think. Oh yeah, they had slots. Yeah, like how uh, Destiny did. Yeah. How you could yeah, choose yeah, like, yeah, between yeah. like, yeah, like a sure. warlock or like mm -hmm. no, something like that. I for sure choose Sith Mandalorian. And if there is no Mandalorian, I mean, I think they are gonna do Mandalorian because the show just has so much hype now. Yeah. Even people who weren't Star Wars fans before. Yeah, they like they, it. They hopped around Mandalorian. I know, mm -hmm. like my dad, for instance, never the biggest Star Wars guy until he watched it with me and my brothers, and he, he loved the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, because, like, uh, Star Wars Old Republic, it's a game. They did good with their classes. Smuggler, Trooper, all these things. Like, they did good with the classes, so I hope they do that. So, but I know we trailed off. I love Star Wars. Yeah. But, that, great. That you game's know. definitely more World of Warcraft-esque. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On. Exactly. I like that game, though. Story's good. Dialogue is very good. I, I enjoy that game. I yeah. chose the Sith. Cause Sith are cool. So yeah. Palpatine. I'd rather be the villain than the hero. Uh, it's any, so any given chance, I'd rather know, be bro. the villain than the hero. It's the best. But you know, yeah, I'm excited for the new Star Wars game coming on Friday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need like two dollars to like. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need in my bank, bro. If you're not at the meet on Saturday, I know what he's doing. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta meet Saturday, bro. <laughs> I'm so mad about that. I'm gonna stay up, bro. I'm I sorry. know, I know you. I'm are. staying up. I promise, I, but I'll be okay. I'll be ready for the meet. None of us even brought up the the ally Cal Custis has. Oh the yeah, game. oh he has companions. Though, yeah, companion. that he can fight with. It's great. Yeah, he can he fight can with. Like special moves with. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like Atreus and God of War. Yeah, yeah like how Atreus would be. Oh. He, you got someone by your side. The com the finishers are like completely unnecessary but like they're so cool they're yeah so cool like they they bully them too yeah it kind of reminds me of uh like the batman arkham ones like, you yeah, know, batman arkham Knight, yeah. Nightwing, and before you switch off characters oh, they do yeah. that combo yeah. oh yeah. my yeah. god you're like dick heads up and then you transfer the nightwing <laughs> mm -hmm. real quick and then just completely shatter the guy's jaw yeah, just exactly. to try and provide for his family i know <laughs> <laughs> no that's vengeance that's vengeance that's vengeance, yeah, that's vengeance. That's vengeance right there bro but yeah, this is our thoughts on the new Star Wars game. I'm going to get it, and I hope you all get it, too, and enjoy. Topic three is Flash. Oh, know. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. It looks That's good. That's wild. It looks really good. Yeah. I'm really excited for that. What, what, what do you guys think? Caleb, you go first. Yeah, man. Dude, I love the Flash. Same. Like, oh. I love We were talking Flash. about that last yeah. episode. Oh, my God. But I... I cannot. I can never be happy, man. <laughs> I was about to say that was the it's butt. Like every everything, <laughs> I'm I'm such a hater, man. Everything <laughs> seems like hater. it's gonna be so good, but it's like it's DC live action movies, and they're never that good. They drop a banger like once every five years. I get what you're saying. They try to follow Marvel. I'm telling yeah. you, they should. Yeah. They I don't should. think they are this one. Though. Yeah. No, this no, one. This yeah. one. I this got one they so are. much hope for. I know. I know. Like yeah. that scene with Michael Keaton's Batman, like Zod's literally breaking down his, like his uh, bat wing mm -hmm. and he ejects yeah. from it. And then like this oh, guy's like, was, 70, cool. like Michael Keaton's yeah. 71 years old and <laughs> yeah, he's just he's fall, free fall from the sky <laughs> and just gliding. He, he's him. I know. No, not a care in the world, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's a guy, some Kryptonian guy who can fly and shoot lasers out of his eyes and just try to kill me. But you know, I'm gonna glide to the ground. I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh man, I'm, I'm excited. I like you said, Kevin. I love the Flash so much, and it's really interesting how we're gonna see two Barry Allen's, yeah. two know, Batmans. There's so two much Batman. unknown. So much yeah, unknown. I've heard there's a lot of cameos, a lot of surprises, and I think that I have hope for this because they say this is one of the greater ones. Yeah, which, yeah. but they have said that about Black Adam. No, yeah, okay, yeah. But Black Adam was all right. It wasn't bad. It, now, I no, have hope for the Flash, was. though. My, yeah. it was all right. I'm telling you, Black Adam, the only part I was, like, actually, like, having a lot of fun with was Dr. Fate. Man. Yeah, yeah. same. Like, Dr. Dr. Fate, and I think sense. Hawkman was a hype. Hawkman I think, was hype. I think Dr. Fate got sidelined too much. I, yeah. yeah. Like, no, he, he kept, he kept taking strong. off the helmet and everything. So <laughs> He's it too was strong. Like, That's why. You know his scene where he did the like oh, oh he did oh the, yeah, yeah he did it from it just yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god he's doing I was geeked. I remember I was like you're There's free no way. black Adam <laughs> yeah 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 that was yeah, so I was cool like, oh. I was geeking bro I was geeking I was like no way he did the thing from Injustice it's so good I I I think that 
what could be could be great this is our reset to dc this is like this is actually our reset like this yeah. movie is yeah. going this to is be, gonna leave lead yeah. into the james Gunn universe exactly that's yeah. exactly what this is gonna be which is good um i'm very excited uh i I know we talked about this yesterday, but I know I could understand why some people don't want to see it with the whole. We talked about this. Yeah, yeah, Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller thing. thing. Because, yeah. um, you yeah. know, he's done some pretty Guy's messed back. up stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's crazy. Kata made a good point. Separating the art from the artist a little bit here. I mean, it makes sense a little bit if you're able to do it. If you, yeah, if you're able to do it, then try. I'm yeah. I'm there to watch the Flash. I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not there. To watch I'm there to Ezra see Miller. the Flash. Yeah. Barry yeah. Allen. I'm not. I'm not there for Ezra Miller. It kind of sucks. I kind of like Ezra Miller's Flash. Like yeah, I, it was alright. Like, why you gotta be a grew on me? Dude. Like yeah. I really, yeah. I really didn't like him at first. Yeah. Like I really, but didn't. but the, he kind of grew on me. Justice League. Out yeah, and yeah. Snyder cut. He was more shown, and, but dope. you know, but it's it's sad that Ezra Miller's crazy. I love that scene where he's like injured and he has to run back in time. Yeah, that was. A great moment. Yeah, that was, that was a great moment. They did they did his character justice in Snyder Cut. Yeah. Like, like God, he got him and Cyborg. Time. Yeah, and Cyborg. Yeah, yeah. he got more Shoot. screen time. Oh, just. Cyborg so had the goofy, whole backstory. Yeah, so? we oh, finally got to learn more about yeah. Cyborg. Yeah, I the think his suit is so goofy. bad. Like it was, it was actually really good. Like. The first suit he had was actually really good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I liked I how they started, they like from the Justice League. Which which one? The kind of like look, it was like more metal looking yeah. when he had the blue lightning. Like the because he doesn't have blue no no. Which Justice League? The first oh. or second one? I mean, he had the same one. Did the same one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. One. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Now now you got confused. <laughs> All right. It definitely looks better than the Doom Patrol one. Yeah. Where he's just wearing the track jacket and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. I think there's a lot I of hope realize for this, it's yeah. I didn't realize the suit was different in this one. I'm not yeah, no, lie. it's completely yeah. different. It's the metal one is it's dope. You're talking yeah. about the Flash one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. the other one, it looked more like Injustice, where it had, like, the cords mm -hmm. yeah. all over mm -hmm. it. Stuff. I don't mind it, though. It I looks think like the helmet made of weird. rubber. Like, he yeah. looks like a, like, he looks like a, like a toy. I think the helmet looks kind of weird. You're That's it. right. The helmet. Yeah, I could see that. The helmet is... It's it, very blocky. It's blocky. Compared like it's to the bulky. suit, it, it just doesn't look right compared yeah. to the suit, you know? I think that the CW Flash did better with their suits. Yeah. Season I mean, two suit was good. But as CW they as they progressed. so good until, like, season three. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Season, I liked it. I don't know if it's because I grew four. up or, like, what, what it is. It's just the Flash fell off so hard. The time travel is definitely important to Barry's story, but the CW Flash leaned so far too, into it. Yeah, too yeah. Yeah. To the point there was no coming back. Yeah, like he messed up the timeline so so many times it's just yeah. like, you know, he can't fix it. Every season, every character was a different version of themselves. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't even think about that. I think after season four things went downhill. I like the DeVoe season. That Arrow, was a good season. Arrow I ended. could not watch past Cicada. Like I, can, oh, I man. couldn't get through Cicada. I, can, I, I could, could barely Cicada watch season. season three. I'm not really? I loved season three. Yeah. I think season two and three are really good. I think one and two are probably the best. Same thing with Arrow. Season one, two, and three were great. Season one of Arrow is so good. good. I like season two with Deathstroke, dude. That was that was so lit. I think I think for the last season one through four it was peak television. <laughs> I, I think that's what it was. Really? I, I yeah, did. I was, enjoyed it a lot. Very good. Very good. Ralph Dibney was good. I, I, I think that one through four were peak television. After that, it just started. It, it went on a decline. Yeah. With I mean, that's how CW is with kind of all their shows. Yeah. Because right? yeah. they always switch up the writers afterwards. Like, yeah. why do you do it? Like, uh, I'm going to watch in The Walking Dead because I watched it a couple of years back until season seven. Right when, right when Glenn died, I stopped watching it. So now yeah. I'm going back into it. I'm almost done with season seven. Mm. Uh, I know that right after season six for season seven and eight and nine they changed up the writers and you know people were like hating on it a lot but it, it's still pretty good writing but like mm -hmm. o only some shows can do that whereas the cw once they change up the writers it's once they doom the show mm -hmm. yeah um but yeah i mean this is kind of our thoughts any final thoughts to get out because i know you want to get you i want to know i, I want you to talk about your movies we got like four minutes left we can save that for you want to next time yeah all right so let's keep going for a second okay all right. like, we can keep going for like yeah, yeah, minutes. yeah so i mean i'm mean, just we're gonna see we're getting back ben affleck back thankfully yeah he was my favorite life it's actually. sad we're gonna not, never see him again though I know. yeah he I doesn't know. he he has so many problems outside of the studio and yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah it makes sense it makes sense yeah it does make sense it, it, it just sucks you know i i personally was one of the people that liked this batman oh, a lot yeah same i think he's very I like well the whole written. like dark grim murderous thing yeah, yeah like and like yeah. he was a he was a ruthless guy 
Yeah. You know, he did, he was he was like Arkham Batman. He did not he yeah. did not hold back the, his punches. The only problem I, I I had with him is how like he'll kill like low level like street tier villains. <laughs> but when it comes to Joker, no, exactly, <laughs> no, like bro, you've killed multiple hundreds of hundreds of people. Mm-hmm. You might as well just add one more to the list, man. Yeah, and you know, it's just like it it sucks. It sucks so much. I think that there's a lot of potential in this movie from all I've been hearing though, because CinemaCon was yesterday, right? Yeah, it was yesterday. CinemaCon was yesterday. I I need I need to see this movie. All I've been hearing is mm-hmm. good things. Yeah, this movie needs to be good. To be honest, yeah. Mm-hmm. One yeah. of the guys that I watched, John Campia, he runs a podcast. He's actually one of the people that wanted me that uh, inspired me to make a podcast. He usually does like out of theater reactions. As soon as he's done seeing mm-hmm. the movie, he talks about it for like a three minutes. He says that people are saying it's one if it's the best comic book, but it's not the best. But there are great things about it. Like usually yeah. he has like oh, but Someone's so happy, and I wasn't really writing it. He had nothing bad to say, which is very surprising. Yeah. yeah. So there's hope. There's there, a lot there of hope. There is a lot of hope because after this movie, if the Flash movie doesn't do good, mm. the main DC, like DC line, well, that's going to lead into James Gunn's universe, is getting people are. are people are going to be shaky. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be like, eh, no, it's probably not going to be good just because mm-hmm. of the Flash. Because the D- next DC movies we are getting are, is The Joker, the, mm. uh, yeah, the second Joker, and Blue then Beetle. Blue Beetle. Uh, no, but I think that's part of the James Gunn universe. Or that's it is. Be, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm talking about like movies that aren't a part of it. So you know, Blue Beetle might be you know getting pooped on a little bit even yeah. before it releases. And uh, what is something else coming? <sighs> what else is coming? Oh my God, I don't know. From I know DC. Batman oh, yeah. Two and the Joker, but that's like that's like mm. their own separate. Yeah, universe. that's their own thing. So yeah. I wouldn't even bother putting that together. Like, yeah, in that like thing. I swear to God, something else is coming. Blue Beetle looks. All right. Yeah. That's you think it looks all right? I, I, it feels very Marvel-y. It, it I was, is. I was it's just, it's like yeah. it's like your standard superhero movie, kind of. Yeah. Spider-Man Homecoming-esque is what, That's is what I'm feeling. Okay. But, I mean, Spider-Man Homecoming was good. I, yeah. I liked Homecoming. I got, like, I'm going into it with a positive mindset. If it's nothing yeah. special, I mean. Yeah, that's what right. it is. So I just, I kind of go into it thinking, like, oh, well. I'm just here to see a movie. If it's good, <laughs> it's good. If it's not, I'm not surprised. Yeah. But uh yeah, I mean, any final thoughts? Matya, Caleb, Jen, no? No. All right. So that's our that's our episode. You know, first episode, episode with six. Yeah, episode six. First one with the guests. Yeah, um, that was great. Uh, yeah, I appreciate mm-hmm. you two for coming on. Uh, but yeah, that's our episode. Thank you guys for watching Cultiverse. We'll catch you next week. See you later, Nova.